All right, guys, we got a game coming at you. Brock Purdy breakout scenario. So, what do we need to do? I think it's 300 yards, one interception, three touchdowns. Yep, he's got to have 300 yards or three touchdowns. All right. It's tug time. Kind of want to make this a little harder on myself. So what I'm going to do is Brock Purdy. I think 80% of the plays, I think that's what I'm going to do. 80% of the plays are going to go to Christian McCaffrey. We'll see how that ends up. The calendar is turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And this um, will go as a touchback, and then we'll begin things uh, at the 25 now. And here comes the Miami offense now, and it's the South Lawn, it's third season at the river for the Fins. Uh, we're back to the tongue of my life. Either threshold. To get that, but throwing to start here is two up. We'll see you later on. All right, so that's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. He already in the playoffs. He takes it beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A lot of scrimmage. The 37 on first and 10. Set for position. Throwing now is Chuck of my Completes it to the tight end Smythe, and down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They're playing a good Miami Dolphins team that has not won that many games. There we go, got him in the back. And running room scares here. He's got to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And they'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Two are looking to throw on third and two. I also think this one can move to Jalen Waddle. And this will move the chains again as a tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 38 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got the rolling on this drive. Tug of I Law working out of the gun. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're going to move it down the inside of 25. They clearly wanted to come out to be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been the right pretty efficient right along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on his opening drive. Yeah, that lets him fresh set the down. Oh, like he's pretty good oh, back there. You can tell he's at ease. Fits good about what he's oh, doing. Got I see the play call. I'm reading that. I'm they continuing to let's go to the ball. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Well, they're going to have the ball. Again, it's Tugga by Lola. And this is caught. No touchdown. Durham Smythe. His first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7 0 game. So that's right. seven plays in length. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Touchdown. From the six. I hope you can do it. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Actually, as much as possible. On first down, Purdy, polluting the pressure right. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Purdy. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. The Niners in 10 and 1 now of the year. They've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of 8 in a row. We always talk about how a team has to put complimentary football in order to really be a good squad. But I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. So now first and ten as they cross into Miami territory at the 46. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two 
to throw again on second down. Murdy, that's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive. Some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the oh, field, get rid of but it. preparing each week in practice as if they were going to play. And when you have guys like that on your team, you've got a chance for success when the injury bug is. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Birdie now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. There hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold okay. on to. Oh, McCaffrey's not in. Oh, no. Birdie on fourth down. Touchdown. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown for the Niners. How are you doing? A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers are able to match the opening drive touchdown Touch against them with one of their own. Good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. And yeah, I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's a one-up solution going on right now because they just had their touchdown answer by a drive of double-digit plays and then also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Two yards, the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Tua. And this play is broken up. Here's Thomas Morstead on that and punted away on fourth down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one nears away. This is feeling at the seven. McCaffrey has gotten all but one play so far. These two teams are all tied after the 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this yeah, offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford, I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, no. where you put the ball in the air? Three so things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing that around. Birdie with it on third and one. They'll dump this up to his running back, McCaffrey. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down, right near the 24. They'll run for it, McCaffrey, and he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. On first down, they'll run with Hudson. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. They'll lose a yard there at second and 11. Two are going to throw. That one right to Hill. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 
Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. From the gun, it's Tua. His throw caught right around the six. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Now Tua. He's got his tight end long. Touchdown, Miami. Hunter Long there to make the grab. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fields it right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Week 13 here in the NFL, first weekend of December. Playoff races definitely coming into focus now. And we got a couple of good ones in prime time. Tonight, national audience gets a little bit of for the second straight weekend. This time there at Dallas, 720 Central Time for that kick. And then Monday night, Saints and Bucks from Tampa. Purdy to throw it on first down. Caffrey, he'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. Uh, and he'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. So now first and 10 as they crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Up the gun, McCaffrey. There we go, good. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Purdy. McCaffrey's actually open. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And more. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. Inside the red zone here, they look to throw. Second down. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Five yards for 10. Shotgun handoff down to McCaffrey. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him for the third and three. Back to throw, Purdy. McCaffrey, first down. Down that right side, it's McCaffrey. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're going to try to run with McCaffrey. Oh, I ran and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Second and goal from the one. Again, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So that was a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's Tonga by Loa on first no, and two. Not looking for the one. Deep for Wilson. Oh, yeah, the throw on sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28. Tua sets up to pass it. He completes it to Hunt. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
Setting the throw on first right down is two. And his throw is going to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Two and a throw again. Osekian. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Bill gets in the line here, but remember it's also third down. Got it. So now here's a deep shot that's complete. Now the oh, we had him picked off. The first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Come on, Percy. Two and now on first down. Wilson's got it complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. What did he get? Oh, but can we get the pick? Oh, yes. intercepted. Picked up by oh man, that was a beautiful and interception. We're going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. And now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning the touch for the other side. Okay. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20 yard line on second and 10. Throwing here, Purdy. Finding McCaffrey on the slant. And he'll go down at the 26, throwing a gain of six. Now, Purdy. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Oh. Gets past one man. A big kick that time, time, 52 yards. And oh, control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for each one play. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Halftime. Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half of all time on the scoreboard. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. The quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. It sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, man, hey, we can go out and really run our offense here we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Birdie from the gun on third down. Yeah, open. They'll drop it, it off to McCaffrey. McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. He gets his first catch there, but all in all, when you talk about the number one receiver in the NFL coming into this game, when we get something about the first catch there, I could do a nice job about it all night. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right of the yard. So this drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blower's guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle them. And he'll go down at the 28. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16 yard line. The 71 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. They'll take this up. Down. There's running back McCaffrey. No. And after the broken tackle, good get free for much space. Take it down right at the 10. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. Here's Purdy. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That is caught by the tight end Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. A great play there. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the 49ers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but eventually they'll be left with a third and two. Two are looking to throw on third and two. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Hunt will try going up the middle. Oh, he's got some breathing room. A pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Tua. Yes, Zach. Rush coming and he's taken down. Greenlaw. Ray Greenlaw getting home on that one. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. We can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Handoff up the middle. Hunt. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to pass to him. Got his man. It's the tight end wall. And he is going to have the Dolphins first out as he'll be marked down. A yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Fourth quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off. Back now here in Santa Clara. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A carry here for Hunt. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run again with Hunt. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Off the play action, tongue of Iloa. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tyreek Hill! A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Take it at about the one. Now comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. 
On the other side, they've had trouble stopping him, not only on the ground, but through the air. He's hit the century mark running ball. He's approaching that receiver. I'm starting to think, Brandon, we're going to have to start judging right back by a little bit different standard. We know the gold standard now is 1,000 yards running the ball. But if you guys are looking at all purpose yards, yards from scrimmage, that's probably a better measure of what you're getting from these backs because look at the game we're getting here. He's running well, but overall his damage has been And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Bradley Chubb is able to record his fifth sack of the season. The Niners on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and 15. All right, let's see. Purdy looking to throw. Oh, he's got it. He's got a man complete. Oh, that and they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Boy, I a nice play there that as they work. wind up converting on third and 15. 2 yards receiving, 72 yards rushing. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. Rushing. And it's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Birdie. He'll get this out oh, right here to McCaffrey. So back to back plays, each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield and out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they All run right. like backs. And they take a lot of pride to cover it. What a it's nice play he made there in the open field. On fourth down, here's Purdy. Mm -hmm. He's going to have his running ball. back. It's complete. And he's going to have the Niners first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They run with McCaffrey off the option. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, that's right, just tee off on your quarterback. Oh, it's a very, very difficult to end in that situation. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first as they bring him down at the 28-yard line. Someone who have a good game so far, you know something? Rob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Got it. Now a throw here to his yards. running back. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Throwing again on second down. And coverage. He's got it. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line. Minute so and they just need seconds one yard left. here to so pick up the first this down. Block. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's mad in the backfield and goes backwards. Now the Dolphins going to run the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. No! And he's brought down! Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Niners go oh, for it, but it doesn't good. work out. And the it Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Oh, yeah. Yes, the offense is going to be intercepted. Puts it off on the front And the Niners are going to take possession of the way by the third quarter. Here's Purdy. Boom. He's going to drop this got down it. to the cap. First down. And they got this down to about the 12 yard line. Now, a second timeout called for by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Birdie to throw. They'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. Now, the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts. As they stop right, it here with a minute get, seven remaining, facing a second and six from the eight. 
This is gonna go to the ever open zone. He's got it. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. And they pick up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Christian Wilkins able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two yard line. Back to throw, Birdie. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. He is a hard short again. 24 receptions, 178 yards. He's got a touchdown right goal. there. And he's in for the touchdown. Third passing touchdown. Got it to McCaffrey. 14 seconds left. No timeout for Miami. What a game. Fred Warner came up with the interception to save it. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven point lead here in the final minute of the game. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the interception on the very first play. And what that means is for all these guys, on a huge Picked off. Interception number three on Tonga. Tua Tonga by Leia. Not for Tonga by Leia. Tua Tonga by Leia. McCaffrey running up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down line. He'll get a couple, and that's it. So the big right, thing here for that San Francisco is we've talked so much about the turnover battle, battle determining who wins and who loses this, this game, no exception. exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all. Yeah, 35 passes, 254 yards, 88% completion percentage, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Rushing 78 yards and a touchdown. Brock Purdy with made one yard rushing. Christian McCaffrey, 25 catches, 178 yards and one touchdown. George Kittle had four receptions, 58 yards and two touchdowns. And that is pretty much it. Tyler Croft with one catch and Debo Samuel with one catch. So, of the 35 passes, 31 passes completed, 25 went to McCaffrey. Also, McCaffrey rushed it 18 times. I think I succeeded in my goal and of making it the McCaffrey Day and Brock Purdy getting the breakout scenario. Guys, like and subscribe.